Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Today we are doing two um, products in this video. So the first one right here is the Nijitsu Katana Superlight. I have been dying to get this mouse. And I cannot wait to share this with you guys, the unboxing experience that I'm going to have with this baby. Now, I've been using the Bolt and I really love this mouse. But I also want to try out this mouse as well. Um, I did a little bit of research by watching the other YouTubers reviewing it and also did a little bit of article reading as well. And I said, you know what? Let me pull the trigger and let me get this mouse. So this is a really small company. I never heard about them. The first one I saw was the, it looks like the Intelli mouse. I forgot was the model, but I was going to go with that one. But the sensor that I have, I think it has a 3340 um, Pixar sensor, which is not that great, I heard. So I waited and I decided to go with this bad boy right here. Now let's look at the bottom. It does use a 3370 Pixar um, sensor up to 19K DPI. Now this is new to me right here in the middle, the um, MagEase Magnet Connect Charging System. Interesting, up to 96 hours of battery life. That is beautiful. And does it have RGB? Do I care? No, it doesn't bother me. Along performs that really matters. So, more information about this product. You can pause it for yourself and read it. And the world's lightest mouse in its class. Huh. I don't know. That's kind of debate. Uh, it's debatable for me, but enough me yapping over here. Let's open up this bad boy. Now, the color options that this mouse comes with. One, which you're looking at right here, comes in black. The other one comes in white. Now let's open this thing up. Oh, hoo -hoo. I love the smell of a new product. Okay, ooh, the mouse itself. Ooh, this is nice. It has two big um, PTFE feet, one around the sensor itself, which is nice. Let's peel this off. This is where you have your DPI change, it doesn't turn on and off, which is great. And the mouse itself. And now, <clears throat> this is the thing I find a little bit weird, but good. But I kind of wish they have a USB-C, because I already see what type of problem this is going to give for somebody who is going to plan to keep this mouse on long term. So let's do a quick sound test. And right, then put the mouse in the mouse pad and try out to see how good it feels on my hands. Ooh, really comfortable. I like it. Ooh, all right, nice. Oh, okay. So the design, the idea of this design, if you guys remember the Intelli mouse, I used to like that mouse as well because it was really comfortable for me at the time. And I'm really happy that this company decided to bring to to um, bear me one second because I'm trying to think and then talk at the same time. It's not a really good idea, but I kind of like they're bringing back a legend back from the dead and kind of share that um, shape and design to bring to this mouse, which is really awesome. So now let's see what else it comes in the box. Of course. The wireless receiver. What else does it come with? Let's continue digging. Ooh, okay, whoa, this is a big effing box. All right. So I'm guessing it should be two types of cables. One is to plug in the USB adapter to the USB type C for you can get close enough to the wireless mouse. And the other one is the charging connector. Does it come with extra mouse feet? Let's see. Okay. Yep, it does come with a USB. And then a USB to a magnet connector. And what else? Oh, that's it. No extra mouse feet. So let me put this to the side. Now, stand by. I got to get everything set up and ready to go. Please be patient. 
So this is the next product we're going to unbox for this video. This is the um, Esports Tiger Long 10. I could not resist the color of it. I was just only going to get the mouse itself, but now I wind up doing it with the new mouse pad. Why not? And let's open up this bad boy right now. So the dimensions of it. Let me see if I can find it. I had it here in front of me. So the thickness is four millimeter and it uses high density braided Ooh, okay interesting non-slip rubber form interesting oh it's not water resistant rip flammable yes okay do not wash what this is a better not get dirty if it's like that huh? yeah. and the dimensions are 480 by 400 in millimeters so let's open up this baby up that's weird. They don't. They don't tell you to. I don't know something's not right. But fuck it, let's open it. Come on, bastard. Ooh, I like how this mouse looks already. I love the color of it. Oh, this shit. Oh, that shit smells so fucking good. Oh yes. Hold up. That looks beautiful. I love it. All right, let's see how it feels. Ooh, it's really smooth, which I like it. Because I've been using the Cooler Master mouse. But it's a little bit too rough. Almost feels like I'm using a hard pad to a certain degree. Oh, technically, I just don't like it. I like this better because it's really smooth nice so that's it ladies and gentlemen i hope you like this unboxing video you know what to do you answer those um, questions down in the comment section i will answer them as soon as possible till then take care goodbye